Hello everyone, we are at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We have been here all weekend. Tomorrow is the greatest spectacle in racing, the biggest event for our city, and we are kicking off the show right here at the IMS. We're hanging out at the Wish for Our Heroes event here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Fan Village. We're going to be doing the ops course behind us and jumping in the dunk tank to help support those actively serving in the military and their families. We're also coming at you with Coors Light Carb Day, concerts, red carpet, snake pit. It's going to be our fastest episode yet. Indianapolis, are you ready to be in the loop? TV show closed captioning sponsored by Alley Cat Lounge and Alley Cat Front Room. Distinctively different with the same staff you've always loved. It was a fun and busy weekend out at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and it's time to take a break and rehydrate with some fluids from Rocket Fizz. I'm holding a Radiant Red. And I'm drinking Green Cooler, which is a nod to antifreeze in your favorite vehicle. I also have Radiant Red, which is like brake fluid, right? I'm the guy with 1030 representing Motor Oil. So manly. It is all about the racing theme tonight on In The Loop. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Woo! Mmm. <laughs> tastes like brake fluid. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's <laughs> disturbing if you know that. I mean, really me disturbing. and my car are real close. <laughs> <laughs> if Motor Oil tastes like this, it tastes like root beer and it's quite tasty. It's just like sour apple. I like it. I may be into antifreeze, I don't know. <laughs> it's only fitting that we start our show getting rehydrated because we started tonight's episode getting hydrated in a dunk tank for charity. This is Eric, the director of Wish for Our Heroes Indiana. We're in the infield of Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and we've got a whole obstacle course set up. Wish for Our Heroes booth. Tell us a little bit about what Wish for the Heroes is. Well, Wish for Our Heroes is a national volunteer organization dedicated to helping the battle, the heroes battle in hardship. Uh, we take day, take care of them of their day to day duties as far as emergency needs, as far as uh, you know, uh, clothing, uh, food, gas, shelter, things like that. So, uh, and since we're all volunteers, we manage to make sure that over 96 percent of all dollars that we raise go out to help the troops wow. and not, you know, eating up an overhead. So. That's us. And you've been an organization since 2009? Yes, right? ma'am. Okay. Five years. We're five years young, and uh, we've managed over that five years to, uh, to raise over $12 million to help oh, our military, wow. and, uh, you know, 96% of that's gone back out to help them. What is right behind us, then? Um, you know, since most of us within the charity are, are military, we like to do something that's really healthy for the kids, yeah. and it's kind of a challenge for them. Uh, you know, the obstacle course out here, um, it's fun, it's free, and uh, you know, it's miniature, just like what a troop would go through at basic training. So uh, oh, it's, so it's, it's really a challenge. Uh, you got brothers and sisters that come out and they, uh, they race each other. Uh, you know, we have the photo area where, you know, some of the stuff they can, they can try on the actual uh, body armor and helmets that our troops wear overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan wow. also. How many years have you been at the track? Then. We are just amazingly blessed to be partners with IMS. Uh, this is our fourth year out here. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know, you couldn't ask for a better bunch of people as far as letting us go on stage at Carb Day and raise money for the troops and being out here with the the obstacle course or the dunk tank. I mean, they're, they're just, they do so much for the military that people don't even know about. Right. And um, we're very honored and blessed to have them as our partner. Now how can other people help out Wish for Our Heroes then? You know, since we're all volunteers, people can come out and volunteer for us. Um, and they can find the volunteer link on our website, which is www.wishforourheroes.org. And they can also text to donate, which is text the word America to 20222. And those are the two oh. ways that they can do. Sometimes if they don't have money, they can come out and actually help us raise money. So that's how we live, through donations and through volunteers. Thank you so much for serving. Thank you so much for being here. I'm excited to take part in the obstacle course. And also, I'm going to be in the dunk tank later. You know, when I heard the loopers <laughs> were going to get dunked today, I said that's going to be a record fundraising day because everybody's <laughs> going to come dunk you. Dollar football! Let's get this boy wet in the cold and murky water. You know you want to see it happen. 
I do. Oh, so close! I feel like with the leather and the aviators, you're a sure thing right now. Here we go. Here we Batter go. up. You're an American, oh. right? <laughs> Experiencing the changing of the guard here. I just You're got in the dunk. I'm all wet. I'm soaked and drenched. It's so cold. Kayla, my best advice is don't look at that pole. Just and don't anticipate falling. Just let it happen. Don't freak out. John, I'm scared. Yeah? I'm, I think the water's really cold. It's been sitting all night, so you know what grows and things all night. So I feel like we're really coming out here. We're volunteering. It's for a good cause. It's for a good cause. And I'm ready to get dunked. without even thinking about it, or else you'll psych yourself out in every ball that comes in. It's like, ha, ha, ha! Oh! Who knew you had it in you? I did. I did it. This girl is gonna dunk you like there's no tomorrow. Look at her line up. I got 10 buckaroos of my own loot. Gentlemen, how about you guys over here? Any of you guys want to dunk this girl? I've been kind of mean today, trying to get people to dunk, so I feel the sweet revenge is coming. just finished the dunk tank in the morning here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for a wish for our heroes, a fantastic not-for-profit that helps those who serve and protect our country. Brr, this is so cold. And you know what else was so cold? The water in that dunk tank. It was You guys know what I'm talking about. It was so cold. It was freezing. It surprised me every time I got yes. done, even though I knew it was coming. Never stopped. And it was just taking my breath away. Like, <gasps> yes. <sighs> It's a good thing that it was for active military members and their families. I kept yes. telling myself that every time, it was like my little toes would touch the water and then somebody would come up and I'm like, I know they're gonna hit that darn thing and whoosh! It's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's not summer yet. It was cold. It's always surprising who has those arms. You get someone up there that you think is gonna nail it and they don't, and then you get someone up there that's completely unsuspecting. One guy was a professional pitcher. He took one ball, one, yes, I and remember it was that. a crazy one. fastball. And then not to mention there was an elderly man who pretty much was on par with that guy. What drove me crazy, but also was really cute, was when the little kids would come up. And of course, these little kids, like they can't throw that far. and They'd miss every one. And I'm thinking, I'm sitting pretty on the dunk tank. Like, you can't hit this. I'm going to be fine. But then the guy's like, go push the lever. And I'm like, Durr! Cute kid. <laughs> there was that kid that had the cowboy hat, and she got it like legitimately yeah, threw it on there. I I'm a that. cowgirl, yeah. She did yeah. arm on her. She's got a future in softball. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah. I had such a wonderful time working with that organization too. Wish for our heroes. I'm so glad we were able to work together and freeze our tushies off for them. And don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to show you the best of the red carpet and the party scene from the Indianapolis 500, the 99th running. We have Coors Light Carb Day, we have the Snake Pit, and we have the Big Finish After Party. 
Covering the red carpet events this weekend was really exciting, and it's great that the Indianapolis Motor Speedway provides two opportunities for us to talk to celebs and just build the excitement for the weekend. I know I did the Snake Pit Ball, which is the largest fundraiser for the 500 Festival, and John, what did you do? I covered the Celebrity Red Carpet the day of the Indianapolis 500. Two very different experiences. Yours was glitz and glam, and mine had a bunch of screaming fans. The cars are pulling up, the celebs are arriving. I am downtown at the Indiana Roof Ballroom covering the Snake Pit Ball. I'm standing on the red carpet. It is going to be a great evening. Now, is this your first Indy 500? Second, second, second. I'm still a rookie. I'm still a rookie. I'm still a rookie. <laughs> Who are you going to root for? Ah! I need to know. I need to know. Hey, it has to be a Verizon driver, you know? Yes. So, you know, Powers, Castroneves. You know, just start naming them all. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of those guys. The month of May is huge. Everyone just comes from all around the country and the world to come to Indy for the month of May, practicing, racing, going around in circles. Now what are you most looking forward to for tomorrow, the big day? Well, I think anytime you get to Indy 500 weekend, this is Indianapolis's chance to shine at hosting an event. We had the Super Bowl, we did amazing. We had the Final Four, we did amazing. We did the Big Ten Championship, we do amazing. And it's all because we get the Indy 500 every year. And it's the greatest spectacle in sports. I mean, you got over a quarter million people in one place, but it's all about the vets who passed away serving our country. I mean, it's just, it's an it's an an incredible tribute, incredible weekend, uh, and I'm very lucky to be a part of it. Now, are you a race fan? I've become one uh, as of last year, uh, just to get up close and personal, just to find out what it was all about. Yeah, I, I am a, a race fan. Now, as a first timer tomorrow, what are you looking forward to the most when you get into that motor speedway? Um, just seeing how fast they go. I got to do like a two seater, like the ride yesterday, and um, I was very surprised how fast it Are you scared? <laughs> I was so scared because like, I was like, oh, maybe it goes like 100 miles per hour. And they're like, yeah, sure. And then after I got out, they told me it was closer to 200. And I was like, oh, OK. That's why it felt No so big deal. Yeah. Just going 200 miles an hour, yeah. like death in a second. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun. Tracy, you just got done doing the red carpet live at the Snake Pit Ball. How'd it go? You got McAfee, Luck. You got uh, Gary yeah, Robert Mathers was here. And the fact that they all want to be a part of it. You know, you got those professional football players who represent their team during the season, but these guys like it here. I'm John Bowsman here at the Celebrity Carpet at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway right before the Indianapolis 500 gets started. You were on the show Parks and Rec. I was on that set too, and I got to see you hang out with the kids. Yeah. You're a big guy about that. Tell us what you do in the community in Indianapolis that people may not know about. Uh, we have a Change the Play program that, that's about promoting fitness and, and holistic health for, for the kids across the state. And uh, So if, if you're watching, go to changetheplay.org. To feel what it's like to go around here 225, 230, I think that's got to be amazing. And yeah, I'm going to want to go faster, but don't worry, I'll get on it just before I come down pit road. You have the most popular downloaded podcast of all time, set a Guinness World Record, a man of many talents. What brings you to the racing world? Uh, well, I made a documentary about Paul Newman called uh, Winning the Racing Life of Paul Newman. I've, I've been doing vintage racing. I've owned, I own a lot of his old race cars. I race his old race cars, so why not? What was it like to perform yesterday in front of this incredible audience? It was amazing, you know. It was uh, 40,000 strong, and man, those people were here to party. It was a great experience. Uh, hopefully we can do that every year, man. Me and BK had a blast with it, and uh, it's an honor just to be a part of this whole weekend, man, and, and the people, the vibe, the energy, it's all good. You have your own vintage car collection, and you're a driver yourself. What do you think the chances are of you being in a vintage car race here at the Speedway? Probably very, very <laughs> slim. Uh, I prefer the modern cars. They're a lot safer, although I do like the old 911 Porsches, and I have my 356 that I've had for over 20 years, and I like them in the right context. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Thanks, guys. As the creator of Lollapalooza, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is doing a lot more with concerts and events. What do you think about that? I love, I love it. We, us musicians, we need a home. You know, we need, we even, yeah, we need gigs, man. So it's great. This weekend is a big weekend, not just for racing, but more importantly for Memorial Day weekend. And there's a lot of people here that volunteer and help support our veterans. What does that mean for someone like you that has given so much for this country? Well, it's very important on Memorial Day weekend to be here at an event like this and seeing all the great support. You know, it's a weekend about remembering those that paid the ultimate sacrifice. And 
those ladies and gentlemen that did that. This is the best way we could thank them is to continue our lives and live it to the fullest. So this is, I couldn't think of another better way. This is a great weekend. When I dream about when the dream moonlight about on the wall bash, then I long for my Indiana. Wow, I'm glad that I'm wearing glasses because I started to choke up. That was beautiful, guys. That looked like so much fun. I could really tell the difference between the energies of the different carpets. What was your favorite interview, Caitlin? Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. I think talking to Dwayne Allen, he's an up and coming quilt that we, he's gonna be amazing. Uh, he was so funny and I just loved his tuxedo. And then of course, Straight No Chasers, being an Indiana girl myself, I loved those guys, they were so friendly. The red carpet in general is so exciting though because especially for the snake pit ball, they have beautiful gowns and the tuxedos and everybody's rolling in and it's all swanky, it's all Oscar like, hello, hello. And then I think for you on race day, it's a completely <laughs> different look. Very different look. You have fangirls going crazy. There were women that were yelling for Patrick Dempsey, Andrew Luck, Tyler from Florida Georgia Line. Who everyone. doesn't yell for McDreamy? I was I was I part of that. Would yell I totally for went fangirl on McDreamy. No, I'm totally kidding. My favorite people were the military people. So there was a general and a gentleman who ended up going through a lot in his tour, and those were my favorite people because I got to thank them for their service, and especially for it being Memorial Day weekend. So important that we acknowledge that. I think too what was really cool about the Snake Pit Ball red carpet that I forgot to tell you guys about was that Wish TV was airing live on the red carpet, so oh, the neat. hosts of Indie Style were there, and they were just doing a full live show from a red carpet, which is really hard to do. Oh, yeah. And they did fabulous, and they interviewed everybody, and I think it really turned out really nice. I got to watch him do the red carpet. I was like the little fan girl behind, but I got to see uh, the Straight No Chaser sing into the microphone, you know, so right there up and close and personal, and it was very moving. I enjoyed it. That's awesome. Well, coming up, we danced, we laughed, we got weird. We're going to show you all the fun party stuff, and then we're going to end up at the big finish party at Regent's Tower. While these two were getting some interviews behind the media fence, Jade and I got down and dirty, became one with the people. Oh yeah, I got down in the trenches, IMS style. I mean, it was crazy, but I had a blast. I mean, the vibe was intense. Enjoy. The racing capital of the world, folks. And it all starts with glamping. Are you keeping the glampers safe? Absolutely, we, we make sure they're full of beer, they're nice and cool. And uh, we make sure the pizza rolls are grilling great. Oh, I see what you're doing. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at this area. So you are just dedicated to this whole process. <laughs> I think so. I mean, if we're going to do it for the first time, might as well do it right. If you're thinking about doing it next year, do it. It's worth it. You like my hippie pants? I'm in the spirit. I'm flowy, just like this guy. Look at that shirt. Are you kidding me? I like the atmosphere a lot. Everyone around here is real cool. They have a nice little partying section, then a family section, so that's awesome, and uh, it's fun. Do you guys uh, hang out at Turn 3? Like, what is your favorite carb day festivities? We are heading to Turn 3 in about 15 minutes. Okay, well, we might see you guys at Turn 3. So you have a nice, full queen bed, a little room for a table. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Carb day is so fun. All oh, the race is even better. Oh, uh -huh, nice decor. I mean, you could get fancy because it's glamping, everybody. We're heading to turn three where all the crazy action is. So let's get weird. Fish and shrimp oil. I mean, the smells. Oh. Jello shots. And, oh, well, of course, the jello shots, man. This is my year. I will be 43, and this is my year. 43 on turn three. <laughs> I like this one. I want to take her home with me. Not like that, but just put her in my pocket and entertain no. me when I want. Yeah, so you would do myself a Woo woo! Turn three. In the bitch. Oh, he got me. You are the spirit. 
I embodied spirit yeah. of Coors Light Carb Day. It is the only healthy energy drink out on the market. Blue Frog. Are you guys having fun? We are. We're having a blast. How about you? I'm having actually a great time. No one's ever actually asked me that. There's this guy. This guy. He's out here. If you out here, you something, man. You something. We've been doing this party for about six years oh, okay. and we put it together with a couple of my friends that are drivers and we want to just show respect and honor and celebrate the drivers and everything that Indianapolis 500 stands for and what it brings to our city. Those guys put their lives on the line every they time they get in a car. Yeah. They're extremely talented and hardworking athletes. Yeah. So this is the one time of the year that they can kick it and have fun and they don't have to worry about anything. They don't gotta be back on the track tomorrow. And I'm just thankful that we're able to put something like this together. I've been to the track so many times growing up, but I have never been to the Coors Light Carb Day, the Snake Pit, or the Big Finish After Party. And I have to say that my time tagging along with Erica was very different than my time with you, Jade. Oh yeah, the Snake Pit. I've never been in the Snake Pit either. This is my first year. And it was intense. The pyrotechnics, I mean, the stage, the people. I mean, it was one heck of a party. Well, what about Coors Light Carb Day? Because that's a big party too, right? I've never been, so I've always been curious about what that feels like to be there. Oh yeah, turn three and everybody could bring their own setup and food and uh, it's also a very intense party. Those seem a little more sweaty than the big finish. I think people shouted in between those two. Because <laughs> probably right. they got all dressed up. It was a wonderful time. Oh, I love being on the rooftop. I didn't even know there was one in downtown Indy. It was a great way to wrap up Indianapolis 500 weekend. Well, you two clearly had a lot of fun, as we all saw. And if you guys stay tuned, we'll be right back after these short messages. Thanks for watching. We had a great time out at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and we're so glad that we could show you everything racing. If you missed any of the episode tonight, you can watch all of our segments and full episodes on IndyInTheLoop.com. And find us on social media, and we'll keep you in the loop all week long. See you next week here on Wish TV 8, 1130 right after the news on In The Loop.